We're looking at the parable of the laborers. And uh, again, this is 16 verses in Matthew chapter 20. Matthew 20 verses 1 through 16 will give you the synopsis. A certain man had a vineyard and he needed workers. So he found some and employed them at 6 a.m. in the morning for a fixed wage. Others at 9 a.m. for the same fixed amount of money. Others at 12 noon. And then he found some others at 5 p.m and ask them if they would come and work for the same fixed wage. None of these groups would have known what the others were promised. It was the same amount. And then at the end of the day, when it was time to pay them, uh, the ones who worked last were paid first. They got their fixed amount. And then the ones who worked all day, they thought they were going to get more. So when it came their turn to get paid and they got the same amount as those who worked for just one hour, they were really upset and grumbled at the uh, owner of the vineyard. And here's what the owner says at the end of those 16 verses. Let me just read that to you. He replied to them, Friends, I'm doing you no wrong. Did you not agree to work with me for this fixed amount? So please take what belongs to you. I choose to give this last worker as much as I gave to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? So the last will be first and the first will be last. So now, let's break down this parable. There's an, like nine amazing deductions we can draw from this parable of the laborers. All of them receive the same amount of wages at the end of the day. So here's a warning from the Lord Jesus to his own 12 disciples who were with him at the time. And to all of us who might have been living for Jesus for, for, for years and years on end, for a long time. It's a warning that we should not expect more or a greater reward for ourselves just because we've served the Lord Jesus for many, many more years than others. Second point, this was a warning to the Jewish people who considered themselves God's chosen people. Don't you look down on the Gentiles because in Christ, we are all one in Christ Jesus. In fact, in God's economy, there is no most favored nation status or clause. We're all one in Christ. Thirdly, whether I got saved at the age of nine or the age of 90, shut just before I die, even on my deathbed, as far as the Lord Jesus is concerned, both of us from getting saved from a tender age or just before we die, both those souls are just as precious to the Lord Jesus. Fourth, whether the saint, and there are some of us who have been saved now for maybe 30, 40, 50, 60 years, and others who maybe somebody got saved at the age of 17 and dies at the age of 18, so they've only known the Lord one year. The reward is the same. We get the same love, the same eternity with Jesus. Let's not be jealous. You said, then what's the point of me being a Christian for so long? Keep listening. So that's uh, number four. Number five, it shows the compassion of the Lord Jesus. He did not hire idlers. He saw this owner of the vineyard, saw some men standing idly, idly, and he said, what are you doing here? Doing nothing. They said, we don't have any work. So they weren't idlers by choice. They would have worked if they had the opportunity. Very important, understand this. So he says, well then come work in my vineyard. And right away they came. They didn't make a single excuse not to work for the master. So now, he did not hire idlers, but he hired those who were willing and looking for work. This, in this, the master of the vineyard showed epikia. We studied this in the book of Philippians. Epikia means justice and something more than justice. Because he paid the same amount to them regardless of what time of day they began working. And you know why that was epikia? Why that was beyond normal justice? This way, the ones who joined late, they didn't work because they had no work earlier. They still were entitled to a fair wage so that their families would not starve. Sixth, this parable of the laborer states the charter of the working man. Two points on this. One, the right of every man to work. And two, 
the right of every man to a living wage for his work. That's point number six, the charter of the working man. Seven, though they all did not do the same amount of work, because obviously some worked many more hours than the others, they all got the same pay. So hear this point. No amount of service, it, it, it's not the amount of service given to God, but the love with which that service is given. Just love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And give to him of your best. It's not the duration, but the heart with which it is done. Eighth, we cannot earn, neither do we deserve what God freely gives to us. It is all a gift of his grace. We can never earn heaven. We could never earn the eternal eternity to be present with Jesus. It's the gift of God, the free gift of God through the grace of God. And finally, nine, the whole point of work, service to the king, is the spirit in which it is done. Like we said earlier, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. So that's the parable of the laborers.